Hello everyone. Hope you guys doing well. Oh, you don't see me, right? Okay. So um, this is Krish again, uh, but in a different video. Usually you will see me in as a vlog or as a, as, a, as a person who's doing a tutorial sitting next to my desk. But this time is a little different. So why I'm doing this video? Because after one of my session, one guy sent me a question quite interesting. So I thought to share it, that with you. So what he's asking, why computer do not take division by zero as an infinite, right? So we know in the maths, we consider division by zero as an infinite, but why computer do not take that? Okay, that's the example. Um, so if you take any number divided by zero, we consider this as an infinite, right? So but in a computer, we do not consider like that. Why? Okay. So here's the, um, so let, let, let's see this problem in a different angle. If computer want to divide 20 by 5, how, how computer do this, right? Computer subtract 5 from 20 until it hit the 0 or go beyond the 0, okay? So um, 20 minus 5, 15, minus 5, 10, minus 5, 5 minus 5 0 right so it hit the 0 so now we'd see how many times 1 2 3 4 so it says 20 divided by 5 is 4 right so that's how computer do the uh, division right so same way if computer would do the multiplication it do the addition so now the problem is now the problem is this right so 10 divided by 2 is right and also uh, 28 divided by 4 is 7 but same way this work in other way around right 4 into 5 is 20 50 in oh sorry this is 5 5 into 2 is 10 7 into 4 is 28 right so that's how it work but see this if we say, if we say 1 divided by 0 is infinite and same way we can say 2 divided by 0 is infinite. If you apply the same logic here, infinite into 0 should be 1 and infinite into 0 should be 2 also, which is not possible, right? So, therefore, we do not consider in a computer but as any number divided by zero is infinite. Why? Why exactly why we cannot do this? Here's the problem. Okay, so here's the problem. So division mean we learn that's a subtraction, right? So for computer, it's a subtraction. If you divide one by one, so you get get 1, right? So if you divide 1 by 0 0.1, you get 10. If you divide 1 by 0 0.01, you get 100. If you divide 1 by 0 0.001, you get 1000. Okay? So now you can see when we trying to reach a 0, right? 1, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001, 0 0.001. As we go put, uh, towards the zero, the value, the results should go, is going upward, right? So if you draw this, right? So if you draw this, as we go towards the zero, right? So value, the answer is going upwards, right? So now what happened? What happened if you divide two by one? Okay, so you get two. 2 by 0 0.1 you get 20, 2 by 0 0.01 you get 200, 2 by 0 0.001 you get 2000, right? So it's still same. But here's what, right? So now we are going to allocate, we go like this, 0 divide, 1 divide by 0, just approach, let's say it is go towards a 0, so we have to say infinite. Right? So, according to the usual theory, 
2 division by 0 towards its infinite. Right? So, now see the problem. So, computers start to think 1 divided by 0 is infinite, 2 divided by 0 is infinite. So, therefore, it is going to consider 1 equal to 2. Right? So, theoretically, it should be, but that is not the truth. Right? So, we all know 1 does not equal to 2. So, this is wrong. Right? So, this is wrong mean this also can be, cannot be true. Right? So, in one other side, okay, so other side, other side say this, right, other side say this. If we divide minus y by 1, we get the minus 1, right. So, minus 1.1, 1. 1, you get minus 10. 1.01, 1. 1, you get 100, right, minus 100. 0 0.001 you get minus 1000, right. So, if you go like this, if you go like this, you get divide by 0 is negative infinity or as minus infinity. So, now what happened? 1 divided by 0 is infinity, minus 1 divided by 0 is negative infinity. So, now it become, now it become infinity equal negative infinity which is again not true right so if you consider i mean uh, this not does not exactly come like this but if you apply the same logic right so 1000 into 0 0.001 is 1 so if you apply the same logic so this is the result right so if you draw this in the same diagram so you will see so when you're trying to go towards the zero so you can see it's going the other way around so so you can see these two is never going to be uh, meet each other right at, uh, at all because this go in a two different way. So, that is why 1 divided by 0 is become infinity and if minus 1 if this is true minus 1 divided by 0 should be go minus infinity and we know there is nothing called like that. So, um, this is conceptually and theoretically wrong right. So, now then why what is the correct answer? So, if you go if you see this diagram so you will see this end is go to here, this end is go to here, this end is go towards here and this end is go to here, right. So, as they are no, never going to meet, this is undefinable, right. So, undefinable, right. So, therefore, since it is undefinable, we say any number divided by 0 is undefined, right. So, any number divided by 0 is undefined. So, do not tell any number divided by 0 at, at least in the computer it is infinite. It is not. It is undefinable. So, we consider division by 0 is uh, undefined. Okay. So, that is it. See you in the next video. And I am in the process of editing uh, Myanmar video, the second part. And uh, see you with that very soon. And stay in touch subscribe, like, comment and share. See you soon.